Welcome to Will It Rally, the new series from the Team O'Neill Rally School. Join us as we find the limits of different vehicles on our wide open skid pad and slalom courses before racing against the stopwatch on a technical rally stage. All right, welcome back to the Team O'Neill Rally School. I'm Wyatt. For this episode of Will It Rally, we have a 2000 Chevy Astro van all-wheel drive. While you may choose to have a van in your life for dozens of different reasons, we're here today to answer the most important question of all, will it rally? Hey. 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 The Chevy Astro all-wheel drive van, you know, I Googled it and some people say it's full-time all-wheel drive, some people say it's rear-wheel drive until the rear wheels spin and then it kicks in all-wheel drive. So I'm gonna find out right now. Hit the gas. Did not spin the rear. Spun all four pretty well. Uh, and what you've got here is a pretty analog all-wheel drive system. So there's not a lot going on. There's no stability control. Uh, there's no high-tech gadgets or gizmos to get you out in trouble. So this is gonna handle a lot like a Subaru uh, or an earlier all-wheel drive system, which for our purposes is outstanding. Um, so it's a lot this actually feels a lot like a four-wheel drive truck might. A, you know, a small, lightweight, like a Ranger or a Toyota truck or something. Now that we've had the chance to shake down the Astro van, let's take it out on our time course here at the Rally School. The Astro handled surprisingly well on the skid pad and slalom courses, but the all-terrain tires and some of these icy patches could prove a challenge when we get out here on the real rally stage. All right, so now that we've gotten to know our Chevy Astro all-wheel drive van a little bit, it's time to put it against the stopwatch. Long sort of rally style loop, a lot of ups and downs. You know, this thing, the all-wheel drive system's excellent, uh, the braking system's excellent. The real limiting factor on this is the all-terrain tires on snow and ice. Pretty good on the snow. Be really careful on the ice. Uh, I'm gonna run this in two just to keep the transmission from hunting. Um, uh, you know, kicking into third or drive and then back down and shifting a lot. This will limit that if I feel like I need third, I'll shift up into third. But for the most part, I think we're good to go. Um, you know, what could possibly go wrong? Here we are. Three, two, one, go. pendulum flick to make it around some of these tight corners with any speed at all. That was pretty good. We'll take it. I'm going to compromise my line for grip here. I don't have enough speed to really be where I need to anyway. I'm just going to put my tires on the best snow I can find, which is tricky because you end up looking down at the road and then the corners surprise you. Um, so really, it's a game of looking up as much as you can, see where the road goes. You use your peripheral as much as you can, but glance down and check your grip as you need to. The dope is alive. Focus the shot. Left with a dead and I always survive. Soul in my mind is a line. I'm a goat when I die. I'm a beater when he hold is a god. Started out the bottom from the mud. Now the inside ride that out. See if I can get a little flick. Not much, but it'll work. Bit of a pendulum into there. Really had to wait to get on the throttle. I was using all the road in this thing as it is already. You know, a van like this, 
you've got to limit how sideways you are because the more angle you have, the more road width you take up. Then you got a blind crest into a hairpin right. So I'm scrubbing speed, scrubbing speed, scrubbing speed. Not setting up a pendulum. I got some lock up. Whoop, touch the snow bank. Don't worry about it. We're good down the hill. Still, you know, even at this speed, I'm only doing 25 miles an hour and I'm on the brakes. And I'm still on the brake and I'm still on the brake and I'm still on the brake and I got a pendulum and I'm gonna come down. I'm gonna drag a light little brake into here. Back to throttle, we're good. The high speed run down to the finish. 235, here we go. Coming down, this is as fast as I'm gonna be able to stop after we cross this finish line. Boom. All right, so if you've ever really wanted a van for one purpose or another, or you know, if your life situation finds yourself needing a van, hopefully this settles the debate whether or not the Chevy Astro all-wheel drive van would be a good choice for you. Uh, it doesn't have a lot of the higher tech stuff that you find with some modern vehicles, but it's got an excellent analog sort of all-wheel drive system. Once you're going fast with it, you can transfer the weight and use the brakes and do all kinds of stuff to get pendulum turns going and slide around corners. Um, it's not going to throttle steer around a turn like you know a rear-wheel drive car might, but hey, it's a van. Uh, uh, that's not kind of what they're for anyway. So hopefully that settles the debate. Made it around our loop here in 245-44 with me driving, you know, not taking all of the chances in the book, you know, trying to get from point A to point B as quickly as I could without wrecking it. Um, so, you know, that's a pretty darn respectable time, honestly, for a vehicle like this. It does have, you know, plenty of power, plenty of torque with the six cylinder engine in it. And um, if you find yourself behind the wheel of one for any reason, you might find that it's good entertainment. So thanks for watching. Um, if you are into this kind of video, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. We're putting these out pretty regularly. Uh, if you like performance driving and left foot braking and some of these other tricks, you know, definitely check out the Team O'Neill Rally School at teamoneal.com. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time. Started out the bottom from the mud. Now I got it jumping with the click. Rival mode, I came back with a grudge Well, you got a nice clean van out of the deal. Hey, Al. Love you. He's pissed. Oh, sh Three, two, one, go.